Okay, so um, we're going to address now the feasibility of uh, running a system like this. Um, let's say it's on 24-7. Uh, you want to know um, what kind of system you need to run it and what it's going to cost in terms of electricity. So what we're using uh, to send our fault to process voice commands and send them through the network is a netbook, one of the cheapest laptops that you can buy. We're currently running uh, Windows 7 beta and um, this machine uses an Intel Atom processor which is um, inexpensive, uses very little electricity and is not particularly powerful but we don't need a lot of power. So um, we're going to remove the battery so that we can see uh, exactly how much electricity is being used while this machine is running. Okay, so um, we have it plugged in here to a, um, a watt meter and you can see that we're currently using um, in the neighborhood of 12 watts. You getting that? Mm -hmm. Okay, our software is not running yet. This is just the operating system with uh, the, uh, the basics, antivirus, whatnot. And uh, I'm just going to start up the task manager. So as I said, this machine has one gig of RAM. We're currently using um, 420 megabytes and the CPU is essentially idle. So the question then is uh, what happens when we run the software? Computer, artist, Albinoni, play. Okay, uh, we don't actually have the um, the medium machine running. This is just we're just demonstrating the uh, processing power. But you can see on the screen that it's decoding what I'm saying. Um, and now we can look at uh, the power consumption with the software running is still 13 watts. Um, it is true that when you make the computer think, uh, the power consumption will go up. Computer. Album, a picture of nectar. But as you can see, it's not uh, significantly taxing the machine in terms of energy consumption. We're still staying below 15 watts. And if we go back to the computer, I'll quickly show you um, we're now consuming 520 megabytes of our one gig of RAM, uh, uh, less than 100, sorry, megabytes, less than 100 megabytes more than we were. And the CPU is um, staying at less than 50% usage. So, computer. Media Monkey, Subtitles. As you can see, it's, it's understanding my commands and it's still, it's not, uh, it's not having to crunch the numbers too hard and uh, we're, we're quite comfortable using this um, computer to accomplish the goal. Uh, now, the Media Center itself uh, would not necessarily be on 24-7. We can use this computer to turn on and turn off other computers in the house as we need to.